Hello, thank you for joining me. In this video, I'd like to show you a little bit about uh, SolidQuote. SolidQuote is a new add-in that uh, integrates very well with SolidWorks and Rapid Sheet Metal. And Rapid Sheet Metal is all part of the Rapid Group, which does Rapid Machining, Rapid Cabling, Rapid Sheet Metal, and other services. This uh, new and free download integrates very well with SolidWorks, and uh, in a, you know, less than 10 minutes, I managed to get it up and running, and uh, it's on now part of SolidWorks, and it's kind of fun to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it on my sheet metal, uh, this sheet metal part that I designed a few years ago for a client, and uh, see uh, see what kind of quote I can get and how easy it's going to be. What it does when you finally get it added in, it gives you this R over here in next year in your task pane, task pen, and uh, once you click on that, it'll give you that quote. Uh, there's a couple different buttons you can uh, go through, a couple different options, and uh, almost instantly you get your uh, quote. If there's something wrong with your part, though. It also uh, tells you what's wrong with that part, and you can go back and make some changes. And I'll demonstrate that too. This is also for the benefit of my SolidWorks users group in Yakima. I'm going to be presenting this here in about 10 days to show them how um, how to put this together and uh, how easy it is. Because the Rapid Group is a good sponsor of our group, and uh, we want to you know promote them as best we can. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to each e sheet metal, kind of a mouthful here, e sheet metal. Dot com, and what you're going to be presented with is this page. Now you can sign in once you sign in, and what you typically do is you assign your username and password uh, within SolidWorks, which is kind of interesting. But the first thing you want to do is go to download uh, SolidQuote, and what it does is it's going to, uh, you know, put it in your download folder, whatever that might be, wherever that might be, it might be different in everybody's computer. But um, what you want to do is uh, go inside that uh, download folder. And uh, what I typically do is I move it into a location where I can actually predict it. So I go from my download folder, and I go into my program uh, directory, uh, which is on my D drive. Design, in, a, in my design folder, I have my SolidWorks files as well as Revit and AutoCAD. But I created a new uh, folder called e Sheet Metal. It comes in as a zip file. Once you extract it in here, it gives you your installer MSI file. And, uh, and from there, you can uh, go ahead and extract it. So when, when you go ahead and start that, you know, it gives you your typical run buttons and whatnot. It gives you this dialog box. It doesn't really give you a choice to uh, where you uh, can install this, but I think it just integrates right with SolidWorks. So just go ahead and uh, install it and uh, let it install it in a location of its choice. It only takes a few moments, but you want to make sure you do this before you start up SolidWorks, otherwise you have to close off, uh, close up SolidWorks and reopen it again. So once you go through all those steps, you end up over here uh, with uh, the R button over here in the task pane. If uh, that isn't pure over there, you have to go through uh, tools and go to add-ins down here and actually look for it. Uh, other add-ins over here, 3D Quote and Solid Quote, or 3D Control and Solid Quote. This is from a uh, 3D Connection, I believe, and then Solid Quote's over here. If you don't want to install it, you can un uh, uncheck it. But when I open up SolidWorks for the first time, this is already checked, so I believe it was already added in once uh, the, the program started. It's all ready to go. Once you do that, uh, you know, just clicking that R, it brings out this uh, dialog box over here. And the first time you see this, it's going to ask you to create a username and password. Once you do that, then you're all logged in. It remembers you the next time you open this up. And, uh, yeah, you can go ahead and uh, choose a couple options down here. So, material, I think it defaulted to aluminum, but uh, mine is going to be steel. Finish, uh, we could do a powder coat finish on that if you like. Semi gloss black. Uh, would be okay, but I think it was actually red. So let's uh, see if we can find red in here. Don't see it offhand. Signal yellow would probably be a, a, a good second choice. And then uh, I've already made a quote in this thing, but uh, it looks like the price has gone up just a little bit on it. But let's go ahead and update the pricing on it. It takes a few seconds to work depending on your internet connection, but it integrates all within uh, you know within SolidWorks here. And this happened before too. It says uh, solid quote, and it, it appears that if it comes back, if there is an error with quoting with uh, uh, this, that it'll come back and give you uh, try to give you a reason so you can go back and reconfigure your model, try to correct some of these errors here. But it says it cannot quote this for the following reasons identified below, and right down here is where the issue is. Material thickness is not uniform, or this part contains an embossment. What I found is in the embossment were these louvers that I put in, so let's go back to my uh, command or my uh, feature manager and see what we can do about that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, suppress that, and I'll suppress not only the, you know, the linear pattern in here, but also suppress the mirror I had on the other side. And let's go back to a solid quote and see what happens. 
So we're going to keep the, the same um, as settings we had before. Let's go to update pricing. It goes out there, it works on it a little bit on its remote server, and it comes back with a price. So now it's uh, $389. And uh, it'll, uh, lead time is about nine work days. So it was uh, seven work days before, but because of the painting option, it's given us a little bit more. So let's go to this uh, inside of powder coat. Let's go to no finish. And it uh, looks like it automatically updates this. It's really kind of nice. I can go ahead and uh, click on update pricing too if I wanted to and go back and work. But I think it already embedded, uh, you know, as part of the quote that it sent back before, the option that it may choose no paint. So now uh, it comes back with this. It's uh, back to 257. It's quite a bit of savings uh, from what it was before. Seven uh, work days. So, yeah, there you have it. And you can go back and change some of the application settings after that, and I'll let you explore that on your own. But uh, that's uh, pretty slick. I really like that. And once they uh, begin to integrate this with uh, rapid machining and cabling and some of the other services that they offer, this really could be a good cutting-edge tool. So thanks for joining me. We will see you at the users group meeting.